feel like the world needs to know what happened to me. Hi guys, welcome to day 22. Today is the first day of my last week on OMAD and I am very, very excited. Uh, my stomach hurts a little bit today, so I'm gonna try to keep my meal really healthy. I'm cooking it back here on the stove, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating as soon as it's done. All right, here is my meal for the evening. I have a side salad that I put a little bit of uh, Caesar dressing on it, some smoked salmon, and then underneath the smoked salmon, I made some sauteed vegetables and soy sauce and some rice. So yeah, this is what my meal is gonna be today. It looks really good, I'm excited to eat it. Hi guys, welcome to day 23. I'm gonna try to keep these updates really short because at the end of this video, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a review on the OMAD diet and what I find to be some pros and some cons. So I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys what I ate today. All right guys, this is what I'm having. It's very similar to yesterday. I have the same exact side salad that I made. I haven't put the Caesar dressing on top of it. And then I have the same vegetables that I cooked up in soy sauce with rice. And then for my protein, I have brisket. I got this brisket from Costco. It's really good. It comes with barbecue sauce, but I don't put it on. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be eating. Mmm. Yum. Hi guys, welcome to day 24. Um, I think that's what day it is. I'm not quite sure anymore. They all are kind of running into one. Um, today I felt a little bit unmotivated to do OMAD, but I pushed through it and I'm doing okay now. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. Okay, so my meal is pretty simple today. I am just having some rice aroni some chicken, salsa, and a side salad that I topped with Caesar dressing. And I'm also gonna have two bananas on the side, so this is my meal, it's pretty good. Hey guys, welcome to day 25. Um, today was probably the hardest day that I've had thus far on OMAD. For whatever reason, I hit a wall, and literally from the moment that I woke up till right about now, I have wanted to quit. I just was really grumpy, I was tired, I was hungry, and I'm, quite frankly, I was over it. Um, and I went to work and I told my coworkers, like, I think I'm done, I think I'm not gonna do this anymore, I'm just gonna end it early. And shout out to my coworker, Shweta, who was like, don't quit, Lisa, you only have a few days left, you made it this far, you can do it. And so, here I am, I did not quit, I am still on OMAD. Um, I think it's just one of those days where I just don't feel good. <laughs> I don't know all the all I can think. Oh, look at little Winnie. She's going to try to sneak upstairs. She's not allowed to go upstairs by herself. And so she always tries to sneak up there. But yeah, I am still staying strong. I am still on OMAD. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. Guys, my camera is about to die, so I've got to do this fast. But this is my meal today. It is random, I know, but it's going to be good. I'm having a side salad with some Caesar dressing, some leftover brisket, and this pasta roni. And I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of it. And this is a little bit low in calories, so I'm adding this pineapple juice that I got from Trader Joe's. And so all this together is roughly around 1,200 calories. As you can see, oh, there's some dishes, sorry. As you can see, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting enough calories in the day, but I try not to go below 1,200, so that's sort of my rule. Hey guys, happy day 26. My camera will not charge. I'm trying to figure that out, so I have to give you the update on the phone, and I'm gonna do it pretty fast because it's midnight and I need to go to bed. As you can see, I have like makeup underneath my eyes and everything. Um, today went way, way, way better than yesterday. I felt much more motivated to stay on OMAD today. So I am glad that I didn't quit and I'm still on it. I only have two days left, so that's really exciting. Um, I ate my one meal today at work because we had another fundraiser. I know it seems like we do fundraisers all the time. Um, but we had, what did I eat? We had hot dogs, chips, um, a drink, and then my friend was nice enough to bring me Ponset, so that's what I had. I'm sure that I'm inserting pictures as we go so you guys can see what I had, and look how tasty it was. But yeah, that's what I ate today, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everybody, welcome to day 27. I am almost done, and I'm feeling really, really good today. I have something really yummy to eat, so I'm really excited about that, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating right now. All right, here's what I'm having. It is a Pyology pizza, and I loaded it with lots of 
artichoke hearts because I love artichoke hearts. And I am going to dig into this. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome to day 28. I'm done. I did it. Can't believe it. <laughs> there were a few times I thought I was going to quit, but I made it to day 28 and I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. It is probably the most boring meal that I've had thus far. You'd think that I'd make something really special for day 28, but no, I did not. But I'll show you guys what I'm eating. All right. Here it is in all of its glory. I have some chicken wings, some jambalaya soup, and an apple. It's a pretty boring meal. This is a lot of soup, so it looks like a kind of a small meal, but this meal is almost 1,400 calories for everything, so it should do. And I'm so excited to eat breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Um, stay tuned, I'm going to tell you guys right after this uh, what I think the pros and cons are, how much weight I lost in the entire 28 days, and how I felt about it in general. So yeah, if you want to watch that, then just keep watching this. Guys, time for the OMAD recap. Um, I thought long and hard about this, and I came up with a short list of cons and a short list of pros. I didn't want to go on and on about it, um, but I have four cons for you and four pros. If I keep looking down here, it's because I have a little uh, notepad that tells me what I'm supposed to be talking about because I am kind of forgetful. Um, but I just want to say that I do think that everybody is going to respond differently to OMAD and that this was just my personal experience. And so yeah, you might have some different pros and some different cons. It just kind of depends on your own personality and how um, yeah, you react to OMAD. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's just get into the cons. I'm gonna do the cons first because I'd like to get the negatives out of the way. The first con that I have is that it was really difficult for me to get enough calories in. Um, and I think that you can kind of see that throughout the day. Oh, I think I'm gonna add one other con in here because I just thought of one. Um, yeah, so throughout the time that you guys have been watching, I really struggled to get enough calories in. My normal calorie range is between like 1,600 and 1,800 calories, and I think I was averaging around 1,300 calories just because I couldn't eat a big enough meal and eat a big enough meal that is healthy. If I was eating something that was unhealthy, obviously I could eat a big enough meal. Um, but I do realize that a lot of people who do this diet are on the ketogenic diet and that makes a lot of sense because the ketogenic diet you eat very high fat and high you eat very high fat and fat is very calorically dense. And so you can eat a smaller meal that has a lot more calories in it than what I was eating because I don't eat a lot of fat because my gallbladder would not like that. So yeah, that was a big struggle for me. I couldn't get enough calories in and I think that sort of affected my energy levels a little bit. Second con that I came up with was it was a little bit difficult socially. If you are somebody who has a very active social life, then you might have a difficult time with this diet because I found that if someone was to invite me out for lunch, I would go out to lunch with them and I would eat and then I'd go home and maybe another friend would ask me out for a happy hour or to go get drinks with them or dinner and I would go but I couldn't eat and that, it's not the biggest deal in the whole world but it's, you know, when all your friends are eating appetizers and having beer and you're just sitting there, it's not fun and I did not like that aspect of it at all, I'll have to say. So that was a big con for me is that it was hard socially. Okay, so my third con that I came up with, um, this is just a personal opinion, but it's something that I thought about a lot during the 28 days in that I don't think that this diet would be very good for somebody who has ever struggled with restrictive eating or binge eating uh, because I think that it can be a slippery slope and it can trigger those behaviors again because... If you struggle with restrictive eating and you're on a diet that promotes restricting the time frames that you're allowed to eat, it's very easy to kind of go back into old ways and restrict your calories because you only have an hour to eat and your stomach does shrink on this diet. So I think that that could be um, a negative. And also with binge eating, um, if you haven't eaten all day, especially in the first few days, if you're really, really hungry, it might trigger a binge because you have been restricting yourself and if you struggle with binge eating and you still only give yourself an hour to eat, you know that you can eat thousands and thousands and thousands of calories in one hour. And so I think that you have to be careful there. So just keep that in mind. And then, whew, 
my fourth con was the absolute worst con for myself personally, and I don't know if anybody has ever dealt with this that's on OMAD. I would be really interested to see. Um, but I am going to insert pictures because this was absolutely horrifying <laughs> what happened to me. But um, around the beginning of week two, I noticed that my mouth had gotten really dry. And at first I just thought I wasn't drinking enough water. And so I started drinking more water and it wasn't working. It wasn't working at all. And then around mid week two to week three, I noticed that my, not just my mouth was dry, but my tongue was extremely, extremely dry. I mean, it felt like it was shriveling up and it got a really disgusting white coating on it. And I mean, I tried everything to get my tongue to go back pink. I tried switching up my toothpaste. I bought three different um, tongue scrapers. I bought different mouthwash. I started chewing more gum. Then I started taking um, probiotics. I started taking uh, vitamin B12 and B6. I started taking an iron supplement. And then I figured like, well, maybe I have oral thrush. So I started taking a like a probiotic that was specifically for Candia and nothing worked at all. And so I started looking up like, well, why would somebody get, you know, dry mouth or oral thrush? And WebMD did not have very settling results for me and it freaked me out. So I literally took myself to the doctors and was like, yo, my tongue is really uh, dry and white. This is really disgusting. I think I have oral thrush. And he assured me that it wasn't oral thrush, which honestly, I still don't believe him. But I forced him to do like blood work to check on like anything and everything that could possibly cause oral thrush. All my blood work, depending on what they tested me for, came back either non-reactive or within normal range. So I was very, very, very thankful and relieved to hear that. But I still didn't know why my tongue was so flipping white and I kind of figured like okay maybe it's OMAD but I wasn't sure until I stopped doing OMAD and this is when I'm going to insert the picture and it's so gross guys I understand but I feel like the world needs to know what happened to me so the first picture I'm going to show you is around week three of OMAD and the second picture is two days after stopping OMAD. So as you can see, there is a huge difference in what my tongue looked like. And I don't know why that happened to me. Um, maybe there was like toxins being released from my body. I don't know. I have not a clue at all. But that did happen. And as soon as I stopped doing OMAD, my tongue went back to normal. So that's one thing. Um... Oh, I said I was going to add another. Fifth con that I, I just came up with at the beginning of this is that I had a little bit of a difficult time eating healthy. This was all mental for me because basically I had to go, you know, an entire 24 hours to eat. And so I'd be thinking about food and thinking about like how excited I was to eat later on. And a salad and chicken and, you know, brown rice did not sound appetizing to me at all. And I got into this mindset that because I'm only eating once a day, whatever I'm eating has to be really good. And so I found myself wanting to have like burritos and um, sandwiches and pizza and usually I will have a cheat day but I might have a cheat day every other week but on this particular diet I found myself struggling a lot and I don't think that's necessarily OMAD I think that was just um, you know a personal struggle that I deal with and I would have to work through if I continue doing OMAD. Now time for the pros of OMAD. So the biggest pro is weight loss. Um, in 28 days, I lost eight pounds. And I know for some of you watching this, you're gonna think that that is not a lot because a lot of people that um, start OMAD, they lose like eight pounds in the first week, but that's not me, that's not my story. I lose weight really slowly. When I am 100% on track and working out, I tend to lose about five pounds in a month. And so losing eight pounds was actually really good for me. And 
I just want everyone out there to know that if you watch videos where people are losing, you know, 10 pounds in a week, 7 pounds in a week, you know, 20 pounds in a month, and you're not one of those people, do not get discouraged because everybody loses weight at their own rate, and it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong or they're doing anything better than you. It's just how your body reacts. And it's okay because at the end of the day, you're going to reach your goal when you reach your goal, and that's all that matters. So I am kind of glad that I can show you guys that not everyone that goes on, you know, OMAD or maybe like a different sort of diet is going to lose weight extremely fast. I'm not one of those. So yeah, I lost eight pounds, so I'm really happy about that. Um, the second pro that I have is that I really think it does help teach you when you are actually hungry and when you're just bored. I have a tendency to mindlessly snack. I do really good at eating, you know, my planned three meals a day and then maybe my planned one snack. But then when I get off of work, I kind of go ham and I eat <laughs> a lot. Like I will just have, you know, a couple chips here and there or I'll have a cookie and then I'll have a bite of this or a bite of that. And it all adds up. And when I was on OMAD, I realized that half the time I wasn't hungry. I was literally just bored and wanting to eat. And I think I said this in one of my videos. So this has been the number one thing that is really, really helped me with is that I don't feel the need to snack anymore. Um, and I really am in tune to when I'm actually hungry and when I'm bored. And now I still have those thoughts of like, oh, I want to eat right now. But now I know like, okay, Lisa, yeah, you want to eat right now, but you're not really hungry. Like this is not what hunger feels like. So, you know, go do something active or go switch up what kind of activity you're doing. Like you're just sitting on the couch watching TV for an hour. That's why you're bored. So go outside and take a walk or go organize something. And that has helped me a lot. So I really am thankful for OMAD for that. That is a huge, huge, huge pro for me. Um, the third pro that I have is decreased brain fog. This is one of the things that OMAD does claim to do, and I do agree with that. I think that my brain fog did decrease while I was on this. Um, before, I feel like I was stuttering over my words a lot. I would walk into rooms, and I wouldn't remember what I was going in the room for, and when I was OMAD, I did have a lot more clarity. <laughs> So that is a pro, and that is a pro that a lot of people have. Um, and the fourth pro that I have is energy levels. So this one is kind of a pro and a con because my energy levels were a little bit like a roller coaster ride. Um, a lot of people claim that when they're on OMAD, they have a lot of energy and I will say that that was sometimes true for me. When I had energy on OMAD, I had crazy amount of energy. I mean, more energy than I had ever had before, but I would also have days where I would crash and I was really tired. But I think when I was looking back, it was because the day before I wasn't eating enough calories. I wasn't eating the right macros and that's why my um, energy levels were crashing. So I think that if you did OMAD properly, and you really made sure that you ate enough and you got all their macros in there and stuff, I think that your brain, or not brain fog, I just talked about that, I think that your energy levels would stay up. So those are my pros and cons. Um, I thought my OMAD experience was really interesting and I am glad that I did it. It was difficult at times. There were times I definitely wanted to quit and then there were also times when I thought I could do this forever. And I am not going to continue doing OMAD. I could see myself doing it maybe once or twice a week, maybe up to three times a week. Just, you know, if I ever feel like I am struggling with snacking to start doing it for a little bit. But I don't know if I would ever do it full time just because socially I like to go out with my friends and eat, you know, food with them. So... That's what I feel about OMAD. I am glad I did it, but I'm also glad that it's over and I am gonna continue making videos on things that I eat in a day that help me lose weight and I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. So stay tuned for my next video. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. Bye.